Okay, guys. Um, here you go. Look how bright it is in here. Got some lights on and stuff too. So, so we did go through. Um, they were in the process of doing that. Uh, baseboards, so forth, all the stuff that we could put back together, plate-wise and so forth. We did. Um, granted, this camera always has kind of a a weird look. But isn't that nice? I'll try to get back a ways here. Just looks gorgeous. Look at that. So all the wood basically, the logs got like two coats and then some spot work where they needed it. Um, so they came out pretty good. Uh, the paneling in some of these rooms, like these were okay. This was just two coats uh, because of the fact that it was just so heavily lacquered. Um, so that came out really good too. Uh, so uh, both sides of the door and the jam. Oh, I already dinged it. So both sides of the door and the jam. Uh, a bit of paint right there on the walls, not us. I already checked it. Uh, what is that? Is that us? No, that's from the masking. Okay, so good. Um, we ended up caulking in a bunch of this stuff. I think it looks a lot cleaner. Um, so it's kind of a nice thing. Here's where we end up with something. So when we come back and we get some more paint i'm going to bring some auto primer we got a couple spots that for some reason just have bled through it's just one spot and some form of grease in there we even wiped it with tsp we sanded it we oiled it so um it's behind the fridge but still so when i come back with paint we're gonna let it dry and we'll figure it out um through here everything is good look at that let me turn on the light in here if i can find it far far brighter um got everything pretty much back together both sides of this door and the jam as well here um that was done as well me, there you go um get some lights on in here i mean it's just it's night and day so doors cabinets we even did kind of the back into that one just because it would have made our life more problematic to try to mask all that stuff so doors uh, all the handles are back we're going to need to get some screws there are some that are missing some that were painted the green color so i think i might just try when i come meet you guys or whatever i might just try to buy a little pack of the black screws that are like um, a little maybe quarter inch black decorative screws and then that would clean them up a little bit so some of these are still the green the original color um, yeah. So all the paneling in the bedrooms and the hallway and the bathroom ended up going three coats. We had to order more paint this morning. Uh, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm not charging you extra or anything for it. Probably worked out fair anyway, just because of the fact that we didn't paint the entire walls in the um, living room. So not a big deal. These things happen. Um, so we got on that. Just so much brighter in here. I mean, it's probably hard to tell with this camera. Um, but it's cool. So I'm going to leave the windows open. Today's Tuesday. It's like, I don't know, one, maybe two, somewhere. I'm going to leave the windows open and I'm going to come back this evening and close everything up. Just want to let it get a really good dry run in here. The ceiling idea is, I think it really came out good. I'm very, uh, uh, I'm very impressed with not only the color, but how it all came out. I like it a lot. Um, Except for that, no issues. Just a lot of uh, like that socket right there was broken. Um, I think, uh, I don't know if we did it. If we did, let me know and we'll replace it. It's not a big deal. Uh, doors, both sides. Again, like just all the doors. Um, we did the whole works. There's a lock right here that we didn't put on, but we can. Um, we're gonna leave your Give you a bucket over that. This came out really nice. Look at the sheen on the ceiling. Uh, no issues in here. I just figured we kind of come back through and touch up everything with you guys when we're all the flooring's in because it is a low sheen. We didn't want to go to a super semi gloss. So, um, you know, unfortunately, 
it's easy to mar up, you know, especially when you're doing work against the floor with it and everything. The only lines we couldn't, um, you know, like we left a lot of these the way they are. We wanted to have a certain appearance. We wanted to look a certain way. Um, I think it came out really good, but. Got a good sheen onto the ceilings so you can see down it. Um, so they're putting the nest in right now. They're doing all that stuff. They're gonna be here. I am gonna actually uh, lock the house. Like, look at this. I mean, the sunshine in here just, just like pow. And then with the dark floor, oh man, it's nice. So um, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna lock the door and leave the windows open turn off all the lights and I'll come back this evening after dinner or something. Uh, there's our paint. So what I use is Acroplex eggshell. And my suggestion on that would most likely be to, um, we go through, Dun or I'm sorry, um, Kelly Moore in Sonora. So if you want, I can just order you a gallon. That way we know exactly that it is the exact same color. Sometimes it can differ a little bit from store to store. I'm sure not that much, and it might not even be that big of a deal, but this is my trade, so I'm kind of picky on such things. So, yeah. So there you go. Bam. Uh, what, a, uh, what an interesting uh, job this has been. A lot of duct tape, a lot of plastic. Thank you, guys. Talk soon.